Good morning. Oh, that's a big yawn. That was a big yawn. Are you sleepy? Are you perfect? What are you doing? Stay asleep. Oh. You can stay in bed. It's okay. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. You're so good. Okay, can you see this? It's six o'clock. I'm leaving work. And it's still daylight. I am so excited right now. <laughs> so excited. Tonight we are making our first pancakes of our adult lives. Blueberry pancakes with some bacon. Brinner, if you will. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Pancakes. Leaving for work. And what's that thing in the sky? It's the sun. I haven't seen that in a while. Actually, we saw it yesterday, but it just feels better when I can see the sunlight. <laughs> Even though it's like winter. It's 22 degrees. I don't even care. There's blue skies. I'm here for it. our exciting Friday night. We just went for a three mile walk. I meant to take some video along the way, but I had my hands in my, uh, I have a hoodie on. I had my hands like in my hoodie pouch most of the time because it's so cold. And this morning I was like, let's go for a walk tonight. It's going to warm up because it's going to be sunny all day. It was like 10 degrees when I left the house this morning. I forget. I think I took a video of it because it was fucking cold, but I thought, oh, it's gonna warm up by the end of the night and it'll be really great. And it was like warmer a little bit when I left work and it was still like the sun had just started to set. But by the time we just went at like eight o'clock, it was freezing again. <laughs> this was not my best idea, but it was nice. It was good. We used to have a three mile loop that we do. Like I run it a lot, but we also walk it, especially like in the summer when it's nice weather. It's just nice to like talk and like vent about our days and whatever and go for the walk. So that was what we did. And now husband is making us some turkey burgers and some tater tots. And we are going to probably settle in and watch a couple episodes of Twin Peaks and maybe a couple, maybe just one episode. It's already 20 after nine, but I'm meeting Christy at the Eliza Furnace Trailhead tomorrow. I have seven miles before work. And that's, yeah, this is the exciting Friday night of a distance runner on her work weekend.
down at the north side. And I'm not feeling terrific today. I'm just very tired and I shouldn't have eaten those delicious french fries that we got last night at dinner. <laughs> but they were super good. So, anyway, here we go 14 miles. Sunday afternoon, the long run is done, and we are going to get some breakfast, brunch, lunch, something of the sort, and use our coffee passports at the French and Carbon Brew. And we're going to talk a little bit about some plans for the vlog upcoming. And yeah, and I am going to stay awake. I am not going to nap today. I normally nap after a long run, but I have too much shit to do. So I'm going to do the shit. All the shit. It's Monday morning. I was supposed to have a really productive Sunday yesterday and I just crashed after I did my run and then we went to get breakfast and I, we worked on some vlog stuff while we were out of breakfast and then I came home and I was like, oh, I have so much to do. And I just crashed. I just was so tired. And I didn't efficiently meal prep <laughs> at all. We didn't make dinner. I mean, we made dinner, but we just made something easy in the oven. And so I'm like trying not to stress about it today. I'm trying to just be like, okay, that was yesterday. I needed the rest. I got the rest, now move forward, so we'll see. And actually, I want to show you all something that will help me move forward. My friend Emily is an ambassador for these Momentum bands, and she wears them all the time, and they're super cute. You can get all kinds of different uh, sayings on them. And so she gave me one yesterday, and it says, keep moving forward, and I was like, fuck yes, I need this reminder. Thank you, girl. So I love it. I'm like super excited about it. It's, it is super comfy. I love it. And I was kind of worried like I didn't want to wear anything on my right wrist because when I'm at work I can't really wear anything because I need that wrist to bag um, prescriptions. <laughs> so I can't really wear anything on my, like I guess why I can't wear a watch at work. But I was worried about wearing it on my left wrist because I thought it would cover my tattoo but it's like perfect. Like it will, it's pushed down a little bit right now. But like yeah you can still see my whole tattoo. It's like I'm super happy with it. So this is what I'm trying to do today. Keep moving forward. Don't mind my granny hands. I wash my hands a thousand times a day at work. So <laughs> the winter is rough, but anyway, time to get in and try to get things done. So I was like, we have to drink a hurricane. There it is in my gateway clipper. <laughs> we got these for free on a gateway clipper cruise one time. I don't remember why. There it is. I think it might have been a Yelp event. There it is. So Mardi Gras tonight. Look at us. Look at us. Okay, time to taste the hurricane. It's fruity. It's not bad. What do you think of yours? This is fine. Yeah. yeah. I would like to point out that this is one recipe that we have split into two cups because it was so big. We were gonna be just like full of hurricanes tonight. So we're gonna watch some Twin Peaks, which is what everybody would do on Mardi Gras. And that's our exciting night. Leila. 
Are you crying? Come on. Come on up here. Why are you crying? Come on, up on the bed. Come on. You can do it. Yes, you can. Come on. Good girl. Come on, I know you can do it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go sleep. Come on. Come on up here. There you go. Good girl. You did it. You did it.